Welcome Taurus. This is your reading for the month of December. This reading will be for December 1st through the 15th. And remember, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe uh, in the comments section below. Type claim it if this resonates with you. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages for you. Okay, Taurus, what do we got here? When I was meditating on your energy, I actually seen the fool. So I feel like there's a lot of new beginnings. There's a lot of risks that you're taking right now, Taurus. I feel like you are kind of going on a new journey. Um, and this may be something that I feel like it's taking you out of your comfort zone or you need to experience things outside of your comfort zone. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling, Taurus. You've got, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Yeah, you may not be feeling as confident as you usually do. But I think that's due to the reason um, for saying that <clears throat> you need to step out of your comfort zone to make something happen for you at this time. I feel like there's some risks that you need to be taking in order to follow this new journey that the universe wants you to follow. What else do we have for Taurus? Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Yes, of course, yes. Adjustments are required. So yeah, I, I feel like there's things that you can be working on, <clears throat> Taurus, at this time. And like I said, I feel like it's a really good time for you to step outside your comfort zone and experience new things. Maybe something that you've never done before. Um, maybe get out in nature. Um, if you haven't taken a hike, maybe take a hike. But do something that is kind of out of your scope of what you normally do. Go outside that comfort zone and experience new things. What you don't see is that your emotions are running high, the super moon. So you may be very anxious at this moment, Taurus. This may be the reason why you need to take a new direction. You need to get out of your comfort zone and take a new direction of whatever you want to accomplish. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you'll be making powerful moves. Number 15, that might be very significant for you. Um, yeah, I feel like this would be very powerful moves. And you have earth magic. That's number one. Yeah, the universal number. So yeah, I feel like that's very, that's very important for you. You also have a higher view. So yeah, look at things from different perspectives. Um, go outside your comfort zone and experience those new things. I think it'll be very beneficial for you. And plus it'll help boost your energy. I feel like your energy is just on the lacking side at the moment and that may be due to the retrograde that we just had october 30th but um i feel like you really want to get your energy moving and flowing so uh, doing something that's more unexpected uh, will actually help with that okay let's see what the tarot has to say what does Taurus have for December the 1st through the 15th? What messages do we have for Taurus? Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay. Let's get some more cards here, and then we'll get into this reading. We have the Six of Cups. Oh, 
Now the cards just want to fall all over the place. That's way too many cards. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. We have the High Priestess. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, and what you don't see is the Seven of Cups. Um, this may be what you don't expect. What you don't expect is I believe that you have many avenues that you can travel. I'm feeling like you have so many options, but I also feel like you are daydreaming a whole lot about certain situations. And I feel like it's leading you to overthink um, your situation. So maybe it's time to stop overthinking uh, your situation. Okay, now in this first row, we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you are holding on to something very tight, but I feel like it's making you very anxious. I feel like you're, you feel like you're like caught in a bad dream. And like I said before, that could be due to you needing a change. You need a change in your life. Something that's going to bring you to your Ten of Cups happiness again. But I feel like this is within your reach. Like I said, I feel like you are in the need to make a risk. Um, with the Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, um, I feel like someone may be coming back to you. Someone that's going to bring you a lot of stability. Someone's going to bring new wealth into your life. This person um, may be someone that you know. I don't believe it's an ex, but I believe that it's someone that you are maybe um, have knowledge of. This could be a friend of a friend or a friend of your family. Um, but I feel like this person is coming in and this person wants some kind of new beginning with you. Are they, they're going to make some kind of offer to you um, with this page of cups. I feel like they're, they're going to make some sort of offer to you for a new beginning. And I, I feel like you're kind of overjoyed by this situation. Now you have the high priestess. So... I believe that you are in the need of following your truth. I feel like you are, you're like wanting to know the secret. But I feel like once you find out this secret, you're going to want to leave it behind. I'm not sure if this secret was something that you really wanted to know after you find it, after you find out what it is. I feel like it's something that you wanted to leave behind with the Seven of Swords and this Eight of Cups. This is something that you weren't ready to hear. You weren't ready to hear this information. Maybe you find out that someone's taking something from you or someone is holding back something from you. And it is leading you to want to move away from me. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. What is this Four of Pentacles for Taurus? Okay, we have the Devil in Reverse. So I feel like whatever this is, this Four of Pentacles, 
whatever you're holding on to, I feel like you're going to release it. I feel like it's something that you understand is very toxic. It's not really good for you. So I, I feel like in the end, you're going to release it. And maybe you're going to release it during the 1st and the 15th. But I feel like you have that in the back of your mind. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like releasing um, your fear and anxiety, just releasing that into the universe is going to bring you a lot more happiness. You have the Nine of Cups, and down here you have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're progressing into this. This this feeling, those feelings are building up. And I feel like they're going to overflow. Does that make sense? With this Ten of Cups, we have the Moon. So yeah, I feel like in this situation, you trusted your intuition. You trusted the direction that you're going in. It, it almost feels like you're surrendering. Um, because remember at the beginning of the reading, I said that you really needed to take a risk. You really need to find something new, a new venture, some something new that you haven't experienced before. And I, I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're trusting where it is you're going. What is this Six of Cups? The King of Wands. So yeah, I think that this person that's coming through is very charming, very attractive. Um, I feel like they may even be powerful. They may even be powerful. With this Ace of Pentacles, you also have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like with this new beginning, with this Ace of Pentacles, you are very fearful of this change. You're kind of worried about where it's going to lead. It's making you very anxious because it's something that you haven't did before. You're risking... I, you feel like you're risking it all. But I feel like you're risking it all for a very good um, for a very good reason. You have the Page of Cups and the Sun. So the direction that you're going is going to lead into a lot of happiness. This is going to be a lot of happiness and success for you, Taurus. With this High Priestess, you have the Page of Swords. So whatever secrets that you find out, it's going to cut like a knife. Um, but I believe whatever it is that you're finding out is going to be truth. It's going to be truth. And it could also be that people are spying on you at the moment. Someone's got their eyes on you, Taurus. Someone's watching you from afar. They're talking about you. Okay, and with the Eight of Cups, you have the, the Chariot. So with the Eight of Cups, now, the Eight of Cups is the card of moving away from something. You also got the Chariot, which is also a card of moving and change. So you're definitely moving. Uh, but I feel like with this Chariot energy, I feel like you're moving in the right direction. I feel like you're being led into a brand new direction. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Five of Wands. So yeah, 
whatever the seven of swords is, um, you leaving something behind, I feel like it's going to be very challenging. I feel like it's not going to be without its obstacles. But I also feel like after this situation, you're building onto something. Or I should say you're rebuilding onto something. So this could be a very dramatic change for you. You also have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom. So I feel like you're going to receive news about something that you've really been anticipating the answer for. This may be about a new job. This may be about wealth. This may be about something that you've invested in. Um, but I feel like I feel like this is good news coming to you. Okay. Let's see. We'll get some angel cards. What do the angels want to say to Taurus to go ahead and end out this reading? And I'm being very clumsy today, so I'm sorry. For some reason, doing your reading, Taurus, I'm feeling very anxious, but it's an excited anxious. You have Serafina. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Yeah, just how I felt. You're going to have a very happy change with this Ten of Cups in the sun. It, it's, it's not going to be without its obstacles, um, Taurus. But, you know, you also have the Nine of Cups. So it's going to be something that's very fulfilling. This is something that you really worked hard on that you worry you really put a lot of energy into something maybe you wished about you have maya schooling study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time the angels will guide you and help you with this process Okay, so this may be something to do with school or going back to school. And you also have Daniel at the bottom. I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. So, yeah, these challenges might be with someone that you're married to. It might be someone that you're close to or thinking about being married to. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling like getting uh, one more card. And I'll pull it out. This message is from the universe deck. What messages do we have for Taurus? For December 1st through the 15th. Happiness is my birthright. Yes, Taurus. I feel like you're going to be very happy. At the bottom, you have the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. All right. Well, Taurus, this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please write in the comment section, claim it. Um, if it resonates, like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Um, the other the other signs may also resonate with you a little bit more. I know during times of retrograde and such, um, actually the rising sign is usually the most accurate. So you may want to take a look at your rising sign for um, messages at this time. And Taurus, thank you for watching. Many blessings to you. Have a wonderful week ahead. Love and light.